Hello, and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Towns. You may notice that some things are different. And there is a reason for this. And that is because I tried to record an episode. Um, and it took like... an hour. And then I decided, hey... I'm gonna go save this. And then it didn't! It didn't save! There was an audio error. I'm beginning to think the town really doesn't want me to record it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the differences. Check to make sure the recording is actually recording and then I will um, be back and we'll do some other stuff uh, so the things that are different is one I am no longer saving every so-and-so days in fact I'm gonna save right now game no, how do I save save so I'm gonna save right now because this is getting annoying and I'm tired of losing footage um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make these sessions a little bit shorter, probably two episodes each, 30 minutes long, instead of an hour long, so less towns. I know, you're all sad. Um, or, I'm, or I might just do two sessions in a row, so there might be two sessions every couple days or so. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make them a little bit shorter so that this stuff doesn't happen anymore. As you can see, we put chests in everybody's room in order to try and get their happiness up. Happiness up. Which has worked! Look, 26 people. That's a few more people than we had before. I also bought some bird cages from a merchant. Uh, there was another merchant that came. Uh, it was a boat. And we gave him a wood so that he would go away. Or no, we gave him some boots. Because we didn't have any. We got rid of these uh, armor and uh, weapon stockpiles and just made some cabinets. We uh, moved our carpentry stuff over here to be closer to the wood efficiency. We expanded the weed pile because I was having a food shortage, which um, I have cured thanks to one, making the wheat pile bigger, and two, by increasing the number of bread that people should have to 50. So now we have 39 stockpiled bread. I also increased the pies, which, um, I don't know. These fruit trees do not work very well. Uh, they do not produce enough fruit for me. I also added more barrels over here to keep our fruits and stuff. You might notice that cooked steak. That is because we added a cooking fire so that we could kill these cows. As you notice, there is a sharp decrease in the population of cows on the map. We also made a pig farm. I might be making more cow and pig farms in the future, but for right now, we're not going to. Uh, I added a mine shaft over here, uh, which hasn't been completed yet because I forgot to build torches and I just told them to uh, build torches right now. We uh, walled off the dungeon so that I could go and dungeoneer more. We might do the same over here, um, depending on how bad the dungeon is on level 4, which is what I'm planning to do with this video to go and dungeoneer some more. Um, what else did we do? We completed the walls on this thing. We still have not completed the walls on this thing, uh, which we might get to in this video. We might not. Uh, what else did we add? What else? There is some other stuff. Nothing really big. We added another mill because I was like, no, why you no produce things that I need for breads? So we did that. We deleted... Uh, a statue here and a statue here because I th was thinking that that was the reason I wasn't making any flour uh, which turns out to be wrong but whatever uh, we added some raw food barrels here in order to stockpile raw steak and pork which seems to be unnecessary since my where is it food my cooking thing I've set steaks to five and people seem to really like steak you know their meat sense was tingling in those other videos, and I have um, given them meat, and they are like, MEAT! No one else really died. We got another hero. Uh, we got Donald Plugnet, who's got flame attacks. He's some sort of wizard. Um, what else? Oh, we bought. This is the stuff we bought from one of the merchants, along with those bird cages. We bought two new bone beds, and this bullhead decorative fireplace 
thingy. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause the game and let them do some stuff while I rage silently about how uh, this doesn't look nice or anything, but, you know, who cares? Whatever. I'm too lazy to put in stairs. Also, I decided that I'm probably never going to build roofs on my buildings because um, it's easier just to keep expanding upwards instead of making new buildings. Uh, but overall, happiness has increased. 50, 66, 99, 74, 100, 68. So if we need more people, we can get more people easily, which I'm not going to do until all that food is stockpiled and completed. Um, we built this thing so that the I can lock this door in case bad stuff happens in the dungeon or I need to kill people. I can be like, hey, go in the dungeon, and they'll be like, okay, and then they will die. I don't know why I would need to do that, but I'm going to do that anyways. But mo mostly to stop bad things from the dungeon coming out and killing all my townsfolk. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, go down one, and mine that out. And someone will go ahead and do that shortly, I think. And we're going to build a scaffold there. What the hell? How is there already a scaffold there? That makes no sense. I'm going to destroy that scaffold and then build another one. I reject your reality and substitute nothing. Welcome to the void. Uh, we will then mine here. There is... Oh god. Okay. I see why that scaffold was there. We are going to build a scaffold there. Guys. Scaffold. Kinda needs building. Oh, I also set the priorities for Hall up higher. I am going to lower those now. Because um, I think they're, everything's on track now. Anybody build that scaffold yet? No, they did not. Come on, guys. Scaffolding. Build it. Build it now! Or never. That works, too. There should be people who aren't doing anything, really. This food shouldn't take too much of their time. But maybe it does. Maybe it takes forever. Or maybe my... Okay, someone built a scaffolding there, but not there? How does that even work? I have no idea. We're gonna open this door. Okay, they've built the scaffolding. And that is set to mine. Hopefully that does not destroy that scaffolding. I don't think it will, but it might. In fact, we're going to mine out those three blocks and those three blocks. You know, whenever you guys are ready or whatever. Maybe we do need more people. There's a guy. Don't break. Sweet. Okay. And build a scaffold there. Okay, we'll destroy this stone. And then you can build a scaffold there. I don't care that I just destroyed a stone. We'll be getting more stone later. Or maybe the dungeon is on level 5? I could have swore it was, uh, on level four. Where are we at? Level four. They might have changed that. According to the wiki, it was supposed to be a level four. But this is a dungeon wall, so... Uh, go ahead and mine that, too, I guess. Oh god, what the hell was that? Oh, Jesus, that is a goblin. Um, okay, guys, leave that goblin alone. Uh, go mine out more stuff, I guess. 
Because that's, uh, that's sick, level 6. So there should be one on this level. Let's go mine some stuff, guys. I might later expand this to be two scaffolds deep. Um, but not right now. I mean, if this doesn't work out, this doesn't pan out that this is also a dungeon level, which I'm pretty sure it should be, then, um, uh, we'll just go straight to that level, but that guy looks pretty buff. He's goblin. Goblins are- oh, no, there we go. There's a dungeon. Oh, you're, you can't die, man. Don't die. There seems to be dungeon walls there for some reason. Okay, this guy is terrible at fighting red slimes because he does flame attacks and they do not affect the uh, those dudes. Red slimes. I don't think they do. Red slime absorbs Donald. Oh no, he can. Earlier it said uh, he attacked like a red slime because one was... Oh yeah, we had a siege. I forgot. We had a siege. Uh, it was like one slime and seven spiders or eight spiders. There's a lot of spiders. Anyway, so now the, uh, the uh, dungeon dudes can do stuff. They can go and travel and look at this dungeon. It's nice. And this dungeon... Oh my god, what is that? Is that a goblin? It's frozen. <laughs> Yes. It's a giant spider, a red slime, a green slime. Okay. Uh, anyways, I'm going to pause. I think I paused. Yeah, no one's moving. I'm going to go check the recording to make sure. Or I'll wait for 15 minutes. Never mind. We'll go and check in a while. But hopefully it should work. And if it doesn't, I'll be very upset at it. Because I don't have to explain all this over again. And that'll be sad. I like how the uh, face for Battlecry is that kind of internet meme face. It's funny. What is this? Goblin Knight! Sweet! Um, I wonder if I can set material barrels to contain it items. Let's manage this. Materials. Come back. Hides, no. Miscellaneous, no. Okay, apparently not. Is there another container for it items? Tool chest, decorative chest. Oh, here we go, it chest. Cool. Uh, let's build, like, I don't know, a bunch of those. Maybe we build four, eight. So they should all be working towards that. I really like my setup here with the uh, the wood farm and then the wood barrels right next to it, right next to the uh, carpenter's thing. It means things get done pretty fast. Uh, manage this. We will enable this for everything. I think I enabled all those. Yeah. So the next four, one, two, three, and four. Here we go. Go ahead and destroy the stockpile, I guess. Should be enough for everything. We'll go ahead and ignore the, uh, goblin dude there. What is this? Bones? What leaves bones? Goblins, I guess? Uh, none of my dudes have died, so that's good. And we're almost at 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this in 20 or so seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. No, okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that, and then we will... What the hell's wrong with these? Oh, they're all frozen. That's really weird. Okay, I'm pause recording now. <laughs>